How much longer till we get there? Not much. We're almost there. Father, where would the travelers stay at night in the old days when there were no hotels around? When exactly in the old days? I don't know. Say a hundred years ago. Well, since the ancient times, caravans set out to the Orient for trade that passed through the Armenian lands. They would travel thousands of miles to bring back chests full of glimmering gemstones, finest silks and unique spices, and fragrant oils from the southern land. Our villages and towns would savor their enchanting smells as the caravans were passing by, and that is why this road was called the Silk Road. Trade was in full swing, and people were exchanging not only goods, but culture. How do you mean? Well, people would familiarize themselves with one another's culture, the language, and exchange knowledge and skills. In those times, which would be 13th, 14th century, Today's regions of Vyots Dzor and Sionik were ruled by the Orbelian dynasty. They managed to get their lands back from the descendants of Genghis Khan. Part of this Silk Road passed through those lands. Looking at all these tradesmen traveling through Armenia, our clever and wise princes came up with a brilliant idea. They started building shelters for the heavy laden travelers. Now in those days, they called them lodges or caravanseries, not hotels or guest houses like we do today. The most picturesque one is the Orbelian Caravanseri, built by Cesar Orbelian in 1332 in the Vardenyats Pass, pathway connecting Vyots Dzor and Gegar Kunik regions. Vardenyats Caravanseri was a structure with unprecedented architectural solutions that provided comfort and relaxation to the weary visitors. Its courts were lit by yerdiks, special garret windows on the ceiling. They had comfortable rooms and stables that accommodated as many as 64 horses. Unfortunately, this beautiful structure was demolished in the 15th to 16th century. From 1956 to 1959, the establishment was restored, entering the era of its rebirth. Wow! So hotels have been around not just for 100 or 200 years, but for much, much longer. Yes, so long that people have even made up folk tales regarding the Vardanyats caravanseri. The story has it that Suleiman, the son of a Kurdish governor, was in love with the beautiful girl from the land of Gegar Kunik. The love-struck lad had to cross the Vardanyats Pass every time he wanted to meet his beloved. But the winters are too harsh in this area, at 2,829 meters above sea level. On one such harsh winter day, having barely completed half of the journey, a blizzard rose. It blocked his view, and the boy lost his way. The poor lad was later found frozen in the snow. In memory of his son, the Kurdish governor later built this caravansary to provide shelter for all passers-by. If he had built it a little earlier, his son would have escaped the harsh storm. <laughs> son, don't forget that this is only a folktale. Oh, that's right. It was actually built by the Orbelians. Very good. <laughs>